about caffeine officially being live. So just within the last few days, caffeine completed its live at all data centers for all locations, all languages, and we just did the blog post, like we're simultaneously blog posting. Is it live now? Okay, good. So you can read through the blog post, or if you want, I can explain caffeine and talk about it in detail. Does that sound good? Let's just let the read. Would you rather just read the blog post? That's okay. I'm happy to go into detail. Can you just give us a couple minutes? So we're good. Oh, no, let's talk about it. Okay, okay, so here's the story on caffeine, and here's what you need to know. Way back in the ancient days when Alta Vista roamed the earth, right, back in 2000, Google once went four months. Whenever I joined, we hadn't updated our index in four months. And starting around June of 2000, we said, this won't do. So let's try to update our index every month. And we had to crawl the web for several days. And it took us about seven to ten days to index the web. In the snow. In the snow. <laughs> Uphill both ways. It was horrible. So the, the funny thing is that we didn't have enough capacity to update all of the data centers at once. So we would have this thing called a Google Dance. And the Google Dance was when we pull one data center out of the rotation and upload new data on it. And we could only do about one per night. So for about a week, you'd be getting different results depending on which data center you went to, either the old data or the new data. And people call that the Google Dance. Well, the Google Dance was fun and all that sort of stuff. But around 2000, 2001, we realized, hey, people want fresh results. You know, the 2000 elections, I actually had to like make public service ads because we would be crawling so slowly. September 11, all these events reminded us, hey, freshness matters. So in 2003, we switched to what we call an incremental indexing system. And what that basically means is instead of crawling the web for 30 days, we would crawl a fraction of the web, maybe 10% of the web, every night, index it, and then push that segment of the index live. So some people remember Update Fritz. This is like really ancient SEO lore. Update Fritz was all about switching to an incremental update system. So now let's go to caffeine. If you think about what caffeine is, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and I can work down like three or four bullet points. But the fundamental thing you need to know is this. Instead of crawling like a billion documents in one day, and then at night indexing it, pushing that live several hours later, with caffeine, when we crawl a document, we immediately put it through indexing. So it processes immediately, and we can be serving it seconds later. So this essentially makes the entire index closer to real time. So the thing to know is you can do a search like Obama, and you can search on, click on latest in the, in the right-hand thing, and you can see things that were indexed like 17 seconds ago. So the analogy, if you want to think about it, is before you might have waited, you know, until a bus came by, if you were the document, and you wait, you know, 20 minutes for the bus to come. Now it's like your document walks out the front door of the airport, and there's a limo waiting for it, and it immediately whisks you away over to, you know, wherever you want to go. So your documents used to be on a bus, now they get to be on a taxi or a limo where they can just immediately get processed. So that's the big thing you need to know about what caffeine is, how it's different. There's a few other things you might be interested in. For example, it massively increases our ability to scale up the capacity of our index. So caffeine, as it happens right now, is roughly the same size. It's not a huge increase in size. But it unlocks the ability for us to index a lot more documents. Uh, it's also something like 50% fresher, you know, your average document, because as soon as it gets crawled, it immediately gets indexed. So it unlocks the ability to have a lot more fresher documents. And it's also easier for us to annotate documents with information. So if you think about a web page, whenever you index a web page, you have to take the hyperlinks pointing to it, the anchor text pointing to it, and you have to sort of attach that to the document. What Caffeine lets us do is not just attach anchor text or, or the hyperlinks or the page rank, but any other type of general information we want to. So it unlocks a ton of flexibility. So this is kind of the skinny, this is the straight dope on what exactly caffeine is. And you know, you can read the blog post now and get a pretty fair understanding. There are a couple interesting stats in the blog post. For example, we mentioned that caffeine allows us to process data on the order of 100 petabytes. So if you guys saw the viral stuff earlier today, what is a petabyte? 
it's a lot more data, uh, it unlocks a lot of flexibility, but fundamentally the change is as soon as a document gets crawled, boom, it can get indexed. And that's that's the main transition with campaign. Yeah, now I have this illustration where either you're going to blow up the world with yeah. the data through nuclear radiation mm -hmm. or something like that. He's high in the wet. Yeah. Oh, he's the wet is coming. coming. He's high yeah. it, yeah. But talk to me a bit more about the annotation part of it, because you had metadata that you've already been extracting from existing sources. Rather than waiting 24 hours to throw it out, which is really kind of. 